Hi there, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel, welcome to Cornwall. Although I could be just about anywhere with this woodland around me, I thought I'd do a little prologue video before I take you on a tour of this magnificent county, showing you this little hidden gem that I found just yards from where I'm staying. So I think I've gone as far as I can with this nature trail path. I've caught, come to the end of a river. Might be able to get a couple of compositions if I go back the way I came. I've come across this cattle in a distant field and I've got the branches and the leaves just framing them ever so nicely. Perfect. I've been able to bring the ISO down because of course I've got some natural light coming over the hills. I'll catch the nil before they disappear. There we go. And the, I'm not gonna lie, this has been a trip that I've been really looking forward to. I've not kind of mentioned it too much on YouTube so far because I kind of wanted to make it a bit of a surprise when I came to releasing the videos for it. But you must be the same, you must get to go to locations where it's something a little bit different to shoot. It's different compositions to find, different locations, you kind of, see the images all over social media and you think I'd love to go there and be able to do just as well if not better. Well fingers crossed that'll be the case for me. <laughs> Naturally, some of these shots, they're not going to make it in. They're probably going to be terrible when I look back at them in Lightroom. But this is the beauty of heading out somewhere like this. So one of the main reasons for producing this video was because of this pond here. When I came out for a walk and explored this nature reserve for the first time, couldn't believe coming across these lily pads dotted around it. It's a beautiful minimalistic scene, just the type of image that I try to go for. What we're going to do is, the one irritation is the fact that they're all kind of dotted around in clumps. There's not much separation between each of them. But if we just kind of turn our focus on one or two. It really can produce a perfect minimalistic shot, like I say, especially, like I say, the, the small ripples created in the pond, they really do just to add a little bit of texture to the shot. Don't make it look too flat. Yeah, that's not bad. So the last spot I want to share with you, and I seem to have found the source of the water a little bit better than earlier on in the video. I almost seem to have come across this little bit of a mossy grotto. Look, these trees covered with moss leading us into the scene over here on the left. We've got some rotting logs in the river, and we've got this flowing water all coming towards the camera. It's got beautiful, it's got fairy tale qualities to it and as you can see we've still got sky in the distance we don't want any of that in our final shot now i just wanted to touch up on a little bit more why i'm using of course the straps now of course I'm, you so often see me using the tripod i don't like shooting at high isos but at the end of the day it doesn't really matter especially on a full frame camera the difference it's, it's minimal, they're, they're, they're really, you really won't be able to notice the difference. So we want to come over here, I'm going to have to duck 
nice and low, but I want to get as much of the elements as I can in this shot, keeping out the sky. We're at ISO at 8,000. I pressed the shutter a little bit too early there, but also we're at 1 25th of a second for this final for this final shot. And of course, you don't always have to shoot at ISO 100. You can go up to ISO 8,000. It doesn't matter at the end of the day. You do what you want to do. You might see videos saying, oh, well, ISO 100s, it's not what the pros do. Of course, if you're walking around handheld, it's easy. You're not having to lug the tripod. You're not missing moments while you're setting the tripod up. So if you want to go ISO 8000 and take shots like this without a tripod, do so. If you want to shoot shots ISO 100 and get those, that nice image quality, that nice softness no, with lack of noise, Who's hurting who? You do what you you do what you prefer to do. And on that note, I'll share this final image and I'll see you next week when we really truly get to explore Cornwall. So I'll see you then. Bye for now.